What up gamers, Fence here here, and welcome back to Pokemon Violet the Indigo Disc. So yeah guys, the third Elite Four, let's do it. Uh, welcome to the Kenyan Plaza. We are gonna pay, yes. Alright, hopefully this next next one is not too bad. There we go. Alright, let's see what the challenge is now. Our very own um, Amaris. Fence here, yes? As you see, I am present and ready for your trial. A change of location is required, come. Alright, what is the challenge here? Something about mountains? Because it's very mountainy around here. Oh man, the weather though. <laughs> the decision to allow you to take on League was regular, an exception among exceptions. I was against it, as you know, but the Academy allowed it, and the ruling is absolute. Therefore, I will carry out my duty as a member of the Elite Four and flawlessly, as I always do. The Elite Trial I devised starts right here. I call my challenge the Flying Time Trial. You will need to fly around the skies of the Terrarium while riding a Pokemon. Okay, my Maridon. Reach the goal within the prescribed time and you will pass the trial. Fly through the Magnemite rings and extra time will be added to the countdown. I recommend you go all the way or go through as many rings as possible as you fly toward the goal. Okay. Can you verify that you are ready and willing to take my flying time trial? Sure. Understood. I assume you have a Pokemon to ride on. Please bring it out of its Pokeball. Yeah, here's my legendary. I like showing it off. <laughs> ah good, with some effort this Pokemon should be capable of flight. Your name is Agius, right? Yes, <laughs> Agius. That's just how, how I guess it speaks. Uh, this is for you to eat. Well, it likes food. Nice. Oh snap, what the heck just happened? Right on is brimming with power. What your Agius just consumed is a supplement that enhances a Pokemon's flight capabilities. I prepared it using the leaves of a, of a mysterious plant that was found growing in the terrarium. Your Agius <laughs> will be able to soar through the skies as it pleases, but only for, a, for the duration of the trial. Okay, how to play? Uh, try to reach the goal within the time limits by flying on Rhydon's back, passing through Magnemite rings, and it will grant you extra time. You can freely fly freely in any direction using the left stick. Um, change direction. Okay. Um, you have all you need to begin the challenge. I wish you luck. So we just have enhanced flying capabilities now? Okay. But only for the, you know, duration of the trial here. I like the Magnemite rings though. You know, it's lore friendly at least. But if you touch the, I'm guessing it's made out of electricity. <laughs> Is it going to hurt if you touch it? I have no idea. All right, let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Oh, snap, here we go. Nice, here we go. Wait, is this really it? <laughs> I, thought, I thought it might be harder. Like, I thought it'd be, like, super fast. But no, it's not too bad. Like, yeah, I can, I can manage this. Let me move the camera, too. Where's the Magnemites? Oh, I see them now. They're on the very top, and also the left and right side. Because I, I just mainly saw the cubes. But now I see them. Wow, this might be the easiest challenge yet, dude. What the heck? <laughs> we got plenty of time to do, like, other things, too. Oh, wow. Well, let's see what the Pokemon is like for her. So far, I like all the, the, the teams here, man. It's so interesting. And hopefully the typing is good, too. I'm not sure what the typing with her... I'm gonna guess it's flying. 
but I'm guessing maybe there's grass involved. Because, <laughs> um... What is a flying grass? I'm guessing it's going to be a flying grass, because the, the fairy had, um... A water fairy. I'm trying to think of a flying grass. Oh, wait. Is, is it the, um... The one from... The Alolan. The, the owl. I think. That was an impressive display of punctuality. I must admit, it was satisfying to watch you fly. Congratulations, you have cleared my elite trial. Now, a change of location is re required once again. Come. I think it's the one from Alola. The grass uh, Pokemon there. You've earned the right to face me in a battle. Do you wish to begin? Yes. Because I imagine Drayton doesn't have a starter. I mean, maybe... Maybe maybe as a Charizard, because I assume he's Dragon. Maybe a Charizard, but, you know, Fire was already taken by Blaziken. If they're going by, like, you know, typings. The starter typings. Understood. Let's assume our battle positions. Position assumed. She's very, like, you know, very... <laughs> I guess, I guess, I don't know how you would call it, like, very formal or strict about... I guess everything. I mean, even her posture. Uh, there's one thing I wanted to ask you. Uh-oh. Here we go. The glasses. It concerns Kirin. What is he to you, Fence, here? Um, I really don't know. He's just a character that's just angry at me. <laughs> so, you are uncertain, I see. For my part, Kirin is the younger brother of my dear friend, Carmine. Something in him has changed. He is not his usual self. I find this, this deeply concerning. If possible, I want to be the one to help him. That being the case, I cannot afford to lose. Our battle starts now. Do we have to- <laughs> should have checked the time? Is there an actual precise time to battle? Alright, let's do it. Wait, ground? Steel and flying? Oh, she's steel! Get ready, Skarmory. You two Doug Trio. We're finish finishing this battle right on schedule. Dang, dude. I have, like, the worst typing ever. Like, <laughs> with my team. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't know how to really deal with this. Because, you know, I decided to go for a grass team, and the grass team here is, is not working out for me. And we, uh, we don't have fire for Skarmory, which really sucks. Oh no. I guess rock for now. I mean, earthquake. Stone edge. Oh, you avoided the attack. Nice. My dog wants to go in. Stealth Rock. Okay. Interesting. Doesn't affect the flying types around here. But that's fine. Oh, what? An unfavorable type matchup. You caught me off guard. Now my glasses have fogged up. I mean, not really. <laughs> oh man, it's got Focus Sash. I mean, you're still, a, you know, pretty good around here. I'm still, like, having trouble right now. Ooh. Uh-oh, the Earthquake is gonna come in. Oh, wait. But yeah, I don't have my Young Mega, though. So it's fine. And my dog wants to go out. Okay. Whirlwind. Oh man. Oh nice. I get to choose a whole new team now. Oh wait, it's a random Pokemon. Okay. The Whirlwind was a random. I mean, I guess that's fine. Oh, that's smart. Because of the Stealth Rock. Shoot, Maridon's not in here. Dude. She tricked me. 
Oh, she forced me to ride a Maridon. Now I can't use it. <laughs> she tricked me. Oh no. I think Ogre Pond would be good with the fire stuff, right? But dude, she tricked me. What the heck, dude? Oh no. I don't got Maridon. <laughs> Empoleon! I guess that makes sense. I thought, you know, she was grass. But no, we got two water starters. There we go. Um, let's go with the flower trick on Empoleon, and then I want to guess Dragon Hammer. Maybe Empoleon's more dangerous, so I'll try to do, to do this, just in case we don't finish it off with flower trick. Critical hits, yeah. So bad luck can also play a role, a role in battles. That's good to know. Thank you. <laughs> bad luck. Oh boy. Ice Beam. Oh boy. That's not good. But yeah, okay, I think we'll have to do another battle of this. Wait, Whirlwind. I guess that's fine too. Don't... I don't mind the Whirlwind stuff. Okay. Ogre Pawn. Um, let's get a... I guess Meowska Raid. Okay. <laughs> can we do this without Maridon? I'm kind of scared. Um, can Whirlwind affect the... the terrestrialization? I do wonder about that. Anyways. I think I do want to use it on Ogre Pawn here, on Empoleon, and then I think I want to do a Night Slash on Skarmory. Okay. You know, so far Skarmory has been just Whirlwind. I'm hoping the Terrastalizing, you know, is immune to... I was like pretty much immune. Ivy Cudgel. Wait, if we do lose this, I do want to equip the Fire Mask now that we know the typing. I should have done that with the other ones, too. Nice. Dang, Skarmory is tanky. And it's got Rocky Helmet, too. Body Press. Ouch. Okay. <laughs> Torterra. <laughs> that's all that's left now, dude. Dang, she tricked me. I'm a Rhydon man. She forced my Rhydon to not be in battle. That sucks so much. Okay, let's see about that. I think we can do that. Um, wait, what did I choose? Low sweep? Yeah, that's fine. And then I'll use the, um, I guess the crunch. It's the best I can do on Skarmory. Wait, it's not effective? Isn't fighting effective against... I guess not. I thought it would be. Ouch. Like, bug and steel. Oh, I guess not. Fighting is not that effective. Alright, Torterra. <laughs> oh man, she, re she really messed up my whole thing going on. But yeah, we'll take the L here. I don't care who we attack. Oh, bullet punch. But yeah, she's a steel type. That's cool. Because steel is my favorite. She's already cool to me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but yeah, Emp Empoleon, that's so cool that she has that. It also fits in with her um Yeah, with her character. I think it matches. Oh my gosh, Maridon, dude. Where the heck were you? 
Wait, who was first? I forgot. I might just make Maridon go first, to be honest. Um. All right, Ogre Pond too. I think we'll go for the big guys first. Let's get the mass equip. My dog was to go in. Um. And now she wants to go out. <laughs> Always not knowing where to go, my dog. So where's that fire mask? Yeah, we had water and rock. Wait, a hearth flame. Oh wait, uh, give to Ogre Pond here. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's got an animation. So what is it like now for Ogre Pond here? Does it change the uh, the moves? Grass Fire. Oh, it can dual type. I thought it was just a Terra type. But no, it, it's a dual type too. Oh. So what about the uh, Cudgel here? I'm kind of curious. Does it also become Fire or what? My dog, my gosh. Okay, I see. The type changes too. Um, yeah, uh, let's go with the. Yeah, let's pretty much go with this then. Wait, wait, hold on. I need to configure my team again. So let's go make it like that. <laughs> I know I can do this in the boxes if I want to make it faster. Oh boy, I'll do it in the boxes. I'm like messing up so fast. But yeah, I think I need to ride on an ogre pond here to be the, the first ones to start the battle. But yeah, I forgot. I know there's Skarmory. I forgot her other starting Pokemon, but I hope this is fine. Wow. Okay. Let's do it. Do I need to tell my feelings about, um,. Kieran again. I mean, I've already told you what I what I thought. Oh yeah, he's my pal. I'll say that. I'm just gonna spam. Does it change? Consider him a friend. Uh, nothing really changed. Okay, yeah, like usual. <laughs> it's just the illusion of choice, you know, just to make you feel like you're part of the conversation. Oh, look at her Pokeballs. That looks cool. Oh, Doug Trio, yeah. Forgot about that. Doug Trio might be a problem. Get ready, Skarmory, you two, Doug Trio, or finish this battle right on schedule. Maybe I should should have gone with uh, uh, what's his name? For Terra first, for the Doug Trio. Um, oh, super effective. Wow. Maybe maybe not. Let's go Terastalize with you. And go for you. The Doug Trio. Alright, this time we're actually changing mass for the first time. <laughs> On our side. Nice. Oh, what? It held on? I thought you had Rocky Helmet or something. Oh boy. Well, probably a Stealth Rock will be used. Oh, it's sturdy. What an amazing move. Stone Edge. Oh, shoot. Oh, it's not fast enough. Dude. <laughs> I already... I already lost this first part. Okay, so it's gotta be, um... Shoot. Dang, can I just throw in the throw in the match here? Because now I just don't feel like fighting. <laughs> Maybe I'll use the um, Executor and Revive. No way, I should have used Torterra. Because I want to have Ogre Pond around. Oh my gosh, dude, I messed up already. I should have 
kept Torterra and have Maridon instead. Um, they're not very effective. Well, that's not good at all. I'll use a Power Gym on Skarmory and then maybe a Giga Drain on Dugtrio for now. Goat fainted. Dang, dude, that Skarmory's got sturdy. So it's always gonna guarantee the, um... Ouch. It's always gonna guarantee on the... Ooh, nice. Oh, nice Giga Drain. That was a nice move. Nice. There's Empoleon. And yeah, we haven't even reached her, um... Or big one. Um, hmm. Let's go and use a healing first. I think it's fine. I'm a right on here. There we go. I want to keep my right on around. Ooh, sucker punch. All right, nice, Empoleon. Should be down now. <laughs> nice. I think that was a good call. Scizor. Okay. Um. Guess I'll go with that again. Then Giga Drain on the Dug Trio. Okay, yeah, I think we can do it. <laughs> uh, Maridon here is doing some work. Good job, Maridon. Ooh, Iron Head. That's fine. I got the Giga Drain. Can heal up. Nice. There we go. Two for one. I guess we don't need Ogre Pond right now. We're still doing good. Metagross. Oh boy, that's a big boy. In Rayun Nicholas? Oh, it's that. That's the last two. Um, I'm guessing this is going to be more dangerous. Let's go use a Giga Drain. Oh no, it's not good. But yeah, it's going to become Steel probably. But I don't know which is good to use. I guess Dragon Hammer. For now. Time is short. Let's wrap up this battle. Oh my gosh. Should have really went for Torterra before. I could have, uh, <laughs> maybe uh, use uh, Ogre Pond later on to make it a lot easier on us. Wait, it's on Metagross. Oh shoot. I thought it was the uh, other one. Oh yeah, I mean the thing is, because the other one is not even steel. I thought he would, she would change it to steel type. Uh, whoopsies, ice punch on the dragon. Oh my! Trick room. Does that reverse the stats of something? Right? I forgot. Oh, what the heck? What the heck? Leftovers or? Okay, leftovers. Electricity disappeared. I do got Torterra. Wait, we got some super effective units here. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Yon Mega. What can you do? What? How does Stealth Rock affect? I guess maybe it's floating too? Um, I'll go for Metagross here. Bug Buzz. Oh no. Well, that's not good. Ice Punch? 
okay, but we, we survived it though. Oh boy. Oh no, it's still up. Dude, that Metagross went first, by the way. It's faster. Oh shoot. Um, let's go with Meowskerade. I'm hoping Meowskerade is at least fast. Uh, but yeah, Maridon needs that full restore. Uh, let's go in battle. We can do a U-turn. Yeah. There we go. A Psychic. Okay. Oh, Ice Punch. Okay, good work. <laughs> At the same points here. That's good. Alright. No, yeah, we got this battle now. I think we're okay. Let me get my own four-legged Pokemon here. Alright, Torterra. <laughs> okay, yeah, I saved the battle. I kind of messed up with Ogre Pond. But I guess it's okay for now. Um, Let's go with Terra Blast, I guess, or Miracoat. The counter is any special move. Well, you got the Ice Punch, that's physical, so it's not going to be of any use. I'll go for the uh, full restore again on you. Then I can do this. All right, my four-legged creature versus your four-legged creature. Let's go. Okay. Oh no, it's frozen. There we go, but we win. Nice. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, I thought the other one would be the Terastalize because I thought it would just convert it to steel. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just reminded of uh what was it called? Iono. Because and also the uh the one uh, the ice gym leader. I'm just reminded of that. That's why I thought it would be the other one. I am not enough, I see. The strength of one's Pokemon reflects the strength of one's beliefs. Your desire to help Kieran is evidently greater than my own. You got that right. How frustrating. Alright then, time for a photo. You must ensure that your victory here is properly commemor commemorated. <laughs> Just a... Uh very, like, I guess, non-emotional <laughs> face. I'll give you this TM too. It contains my favorite move of mine. Hard press. Uh, nice. It is up to you to help Kieran, Fintir. I entrust my wish to you. Time for me to go. So long. All right, Drayton is the last one. Maybe we can speed run all the way over there. No, wait, there's going to be a cutscene, right? Yep, he's going to appear out of nowhere. Yo, 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 champ in the making. That's three of the Elite Four you've trounced now. Seeing how far you're getting is making me sweat a little. Amaris sure leaves an impression, huh? It's wild seeing her and Carmine talk. You'd never guess it, but they click in a weird way. It's pretty funny to watch. The thing about Amaris is, as rigid as she looks, she's got a sensitive streak a, a streak a mile wide. Remember that, that about her, okay? Even if it's hard to tell from the outside. You know, bud, uh, seeing skills like yours up close and personal really leaves an impression. No wonder it had such an effect on Kirin. But enough about that. I guess your Elite 4th match is gonna be against me. Nice of you to save the best for last. 
You gave me plenty of time to get ready. See you soon. Show us what you got. Will do. Alright. Yeah, I guess never mind. Maybe, um... I might just end things here. I mean, I'll go ahead and just, um... Yeah, heal up my Pokemon. Wherever it is around here. Yep, there we go. Next time, we'll head over to uh, Drayton's place and all that. <laughs> oh man, dude, my Maridon. Oh man. Can't believe uh, she just took it out of my party like that. I mean, I had the chance to, you know, put it back together. Let me just make sure Maridon's also healed up. Yep. Alright, we're good. But yeah, next time, Drayton, the last of the Elite Four, and then Kirin. And then, and then we'll see about the, the turtle legendary Pokemon. Like, there's been nothing about that so far. Which I think is very interesting. I thought it wouldn't make an appearance right now, but... Yeah, I guess not. Maybe it has a deal with that. Maybe it's inside there. And then we'll go there at some point. Maybe. Anyway, guys, yeah. That'll be it for now. That's game. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day.